from this guy. Oh, oh, what do we have here? I think. Oh, US. If you're not a member, you should be. I got mine at West Marine. I don't know, like, if you're a, a member of some sort, then you get a. Why is this so difficult? Uh huh. Oh, look at that. We got a free sticker. Oh, this is nice. Comes with a whole kit. Well, so, this is the boat lettering. I'm gonna open it up later, because I'm not, we're not gonna do this right now. But, this is the, uh, the name, and oh, we got a little bonus. Name of the boat, Dodie. That's cool, a little floaty thing, and the boat life. This is the boat life. So that's cool. So worth it, but this guy, this kit comes with comes with this sticker, and then the how-to, how-to instructions, what you're gonna need, tape measure, squeegee, provided, that's nice. So that all came with it, so. All right. The reason I'm not doing that today, though, is I still have to get, oh. Oh, you know what, though? Take these out. Hold on a minute. Keychains. Take the keychains out. We'll put the ignition deals on there. But uh, I'm not going to do the boat lettering today because I need a heat gun so I can get the old stickers off. We'll buff that out and then uh, put the new one on there. So. We're gonna put the new name on the boat today. And uh, nice quick project, but it's, uh, it's a really big deal. Let's go put the name on the boat. So I got all the tools here that I need. Uh, it's pretty simple, like I said. So you have tape, uh, razor blades, heat gun, acetone to get the adhesive off, and then Windex to get the wax off, and, uh, or any glass cleaner. And then uh, some rags. While you watch me change the name on the boat, let me tell you a little bit about the new name. So I changed the name from Risa to Dodie. Risa was a great name, but didn't have much meaning for me. So I decided to change the name. I know what you're thinking if you're one of those superstitious types, and I don't blame you. So we're going to do a little christening and all that stuff. That'll be later. But I picked the name Dodie because uh, my grandfather used to call my grandmother Dodie. Uh, her name was Dolores, so it was kind of a nickname, short for Dolores. But also, in Hebrew, Dodie translates to beloved, or means beloved. And I thought that's an excellent name for a boat because it's my beloved boat. So that's why I picked Dodie. A little throwback to my heritage, a little throwback to my family, and uh, I think it's a suitable name for the many adventures. I also did like the fact that it's a short name, four letters long, pretty easy to pronounce on the radio, all those things. So that helped. So let's put the new name on the boat.
was fun. That was an easy project. I really enjoyed that. That was a good time. Pretty simple and it makes a world of difference and it's actually our boat's name so that's much better. Pretty simple project. Uh, didn't really require any tools that most people wouldn't have I think. Uh, well, I take that back. But not expensive to acquire all the tools necessary. I mean the heat gun is actually the thing I didn't have. 20 bucks. No big deal. Lettering that I bought actually came with the uh, scraper or the spreader that made it really easy and it was pre-cut you just measure it up i think it's pretty straight i mean it's hard to it's hard to kind of measure our boat because there's nothing straight about it so i went with like two points and i did my best but uh that was definitely the most difficult part and i just measured 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 till i felt good about it stood back here looked at it so uh tell me what you think also tell me if you would pay someone to do it or if you would do it yourself i'm just curious because i'm really glad that i did it myself I was really kind of nervous about it. I asked around, everybody said, oh, it's really easy, don't worry about it. And so, I did. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, tell your friends. See you next time. That's the boat life.